it's finally time for another makeup showdown. So in these videos, I'm gonna be testing out products side by side all day to find out which is the best of the bunch. I did this with drugstore concealers a couple months ago. I will leave that link below and in a card. But today, we are battling drugstore liquid lipsticks, some of the highest rated at the drugstore and some of my personal favorites. If you're new here, hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. Ready to see which drugstore liquid lipstick takes the cake? Just keep watching. Round one of this drugstore liquid lipstick showdown and we are putting two heavyweights against each other. Contestant number one, we have the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Lip Color. Holding the current title of America's number one long wear lip color, it offers 24 hours of color achieved in two steps. It's kiss proof, food proof, and transfer resistant, and the balm offers comfortable moisture. And contestant number two, we have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. A drug Drugstore favorite, this offers up to 16 hours of wear with a matte finish that is highly pigmented. All right, here is where we're at freshly applied. To remind you, we have Maybelline on this side and CoverGirl on this side. Obviously, one of the big differences between these lipsticks straight off the bat is the finish. The Maybelline lipstick does give you a nice matte finish, whereas the CoverGirl lipstick has a sheen to it because of the balm top coat. Also, just feeling them on my lips side by side, despite having two steps and two layers of product, the CoverGirl side does still feel more lightweight than the Maybelline side, and the Maybelline side does feel a tad drier. I'm excited to see which one ends up on top. It is now the end of the day and the end of round one, and I do believe we have a winner. Now I will say it was almost a tie. Both of these lipsticks performed pretty similarly and both very well. However, we do see a little bit more fading on the CoverGirl side, especially on the bottom lip in the inner portion. You can see here that the Maybelline has more of an appearance of full coverage color versus the CoverGirl where the breakdown is a bit more obvious. So round one goes to Maybelline. I'll see you tomorrow for round two. And we're back for round two of this drugstore liquid lipstick showdown. Now, if you watched the concealer showdown video, we're gonna do this one just a tad bit differently. Today I have two new contestants, and then tomorrow we will bring the winner of round one and the winner of round two together for the final phase off. So let's meet today's contestants. In this corner, we have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. It boasts intense color payoff in just one single swipe with a super matte finish that is 100% kiss proof and transfer proof. And in this corner, we have the L'Oreal Signature Rouge Matte Ink. This is a lip stain with a no makeup feel, but the color intensity of a liquid lipstick. It's ultra lightweight, super pigmented with a comfortable matte finish. So the reason why I wanted to pair these two together specifically is because they are both incredibly lightweight. However, just upon first application, the ColourPop side does feel noticeably drier than the L'Oreal side. And because the L'Oreal side is a stain, you might need to do two coats if you want complete full opacity. Whereas the ColourPop side, you can literally cover your lips without double dipping into the tube. Also, the ColourPop side is just a little bit more of a flat matte finish than the L'Oreal side. I'm excited to see which one's gonna go head to head with Maybelline. So we have a little bit of a problem. That chicken pretty much completely obliterated both lipsticks. Here's where we're at right now. Maybe there's a tiny bit more product on the ColourPop side, but honestly, we're at pretty much the same level of rubbed off with both lipsticks. I think the only way to salvage this round is to reapply and then see how the lipsticks do for the next several hours with activities such as talking and drinking out of a water bottle. Especially out of ColourPop, I expect it a lot better. I'm pretty surprised. 
We've reached the end of round two, and even with the minor hiccup in the middle of the day, I have reached a decision on who won this round just based on the performance over the last few hours. Since reapplying at lunchtime, I've been drinking out of a reusable water bottle, and I've started to see the L'Oreal side fade a lot more obviously and noticeably than the ColourPop side, which has pretty much stayed intact. Now this is a lip stain, so underneath you're not just getting like a bare lip color, it is is a slightly less obvious way of fading. You've got a bit of color left behind, but when you do look at these lipsticks side by side, the ColourPop one definitely looks more full coverage by the end of this test. And even though the ColourPop does offer an ultra matte finish, which indeed feels ultra matte and is slightly drying, I know from experience you can combat that drying by putting on a little bit of lip balm before applying and it doesn't end up being uncomfortable. So as much as I do love these L'Oreal lip stains, I gotta give it to ColourPop for this round. All right, everyone, we are here at the final round. I am so excited that these are the two drugstore liquid lipsticks that are going head to head because it seems like anytime I ask you all your opinion on liquid lipsticks, these two are the most mentioned. So to jog your memory, in this corner, we have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and today I'm wearing the shade Lover. And in this corner, we have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick, and today's shade is Bumble. All right, ColourPop versus Maybelline, side by side, first impressions. The Maybelline side is very noticeably a thicker layer and is slightly tacky compared to the ColourPop side, which is completely dried down. Now we do get a matte finish with both of these lipsticks, but funny enough, just looking at them side by side, the ColourPop lipstick is much more of a pure matte in that there is no sheen at all to it, where the Maybelline side, something I never noticed before, it does have just an ounce of reflection to it. However, the Maybelline side kind of smooths out my lip lines and doesn't accentuate them as much as the ColourPop side, and probably because it is a bit of a thicker formula. Freshly applied, one is not necessarily more comfortable than the other, so we will see how that changes throughout the day. Well, we have reached the end of this drugstore liquid lipstick showdown, and we definitely have a clear winner, though I don't think it's gonna be much of a surprise. As you saw in my midday update, ColourPop did not hang in there so well after lunch. And that burger was not particularly greasy either, so we did not have another fried chicken situation on our hands. Honestly, I think the Maybelline side still looks pretty dang fresh. There's very, very minimal wear, if any, towards the center of the lips, but you can see a lot of lipstick missing on the CoverGirl side towards the center. Also interestingly enough, the Maybelline side did feel a tad more comfortable than the ColourPop side throughout the day. Even now, just feeling my lips, the ColourPop side feels like I need lip balm. Maybelline side feels totally fine. So it goes without saying, the winner of this makeup showdown is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. Tell me in the comments what products you want me to test in the next makeup showdown video. Today's shout out goes to Stephanie, thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad, and join me over in this video next for another lipstick wear test. I'll see you over there. Bye!